Do you um, trust audience responses? How much do they influence you when you're, I mean, you can't entirely go off your own taste. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe you can. Most people can't be, as a business model. No. Do you trust audiences and to what degree um, do you sometimes enjoy? Give an example, if you can, of like where an audience response was, was kind of a key to sealing a deal in your mind and where an audience response made you think like, well, they might not have loved it, but they're talking about it or something along those lines. Yeah, well, I, th I think it's a mixture. I mean, a lot of times we're seeing these films like here at South by Southwest or another festival where you get to do the mixture of your own, you know, instincts about the film, the audience response and critics' response as they're seeing it and talking to them. But I mean, the the uh, obviously the one in 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 my past that was the big audience one was Greek Wedding because no one, if you saw that cold, and most distributors did either passed on it or even bought it and gave it back, as in the case of Lionsgate. Um, you know, you Hit them while they're down and yeah. being acquired yeah. by a, yeah. a shark. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, they were down then too. It was, it was like, could have saved them. But it, that was a film that if you watched in your office, I mean, there, there, it was not gonna work. I mean, but, and I had, you know, was, I thought I was gonna see it with a kind of screening room situation at uh, Universal, but the Playtone people had, got a 500 seat theater and filled it with people and not, uh, as I've said, you know. This is Tom Hanks company, in case you don't know, that film yeah. was produced by his company in yeah. the first place. Yeah. yeah, it was an interesting thing. It was, it was produced, his wife produced it, they got HBO to pay for it, and then in the end of the day, when the producers wanted it theatrical, everybody was like, look, we did the favor already. We made the movie, you know, do you really, like, do we have to do this? And no one wanted to do it. But when we, Gary Getzman, who's Tom's, you know, runs the company, and it's Tom's right-hand guy, you know, he filled it, and I thought, okay, maybe 50% could be Shills, Gary's relatives, but not, he couldn't do it, like 500 in, in, a, in a couple hours. I mean, he, he doesn't even have that many Facebook friends now. <laughs> he probably could. I mean, he, if he'd given another hour, he could do that, but he, he didn't have enough time. And they were really, that was a case where the audience reaction was just overwhelming and against the opinion of kind of the prevailing opinion of that an older audience won't buy a ticket to a movie theater, won't go to a movie theater. You know, that, at that time, and to, to some degree, st is still the prevailing, I think, studio is that an older audience absolutely will never buy a ticket in a, in a mass way, and they did. They went, they bought, they were like, you know, teenagers, 10 times each, but, and then, um, you know, there can be the other side where, you know, the audience could uh, potentially love a film, but you don't have, you don't have the money, you don't have the, you, ha you pick the wrong time, you know, so, you can't well, let's, go let's, by let's, that. Yeah, now let's talk about um, a time when you, I, I, I was going to ask you about uh, if you could name sort of one that got away uh, at some, you know, again, you have several companies that yeah. you've been at or started, so it's hard to, I, I know, I don't know which phase of your, again, yeah. this, these last yeah. 12 years yeah. you want to pick on, yeah. but one that got away and then maybe one that, um, like you just yeah. described, that you just couldn't quite yeah. get to work the way yeah. you really, really wanted yeah. it to. Well, uh, there's been, Many that got away for 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 different reasons. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned one earlier that got away because it was just taken away. Monsoon. It, it's it's interesting because Monsoon Wedding did about the same business as E2 Mama at the time, so it would have kind of doubled our thing. But I mean, the you know, Little Miss Sunshine. Uh, you know, that was one that you know, if you want to look at it, like got away. We we weren't. We we're sort of part of. New Line, at Picture House had, had a lot of politics between HBO and New Line, so it was tough sometimes to get out and, and really ag aggressively buy a bigger picture that was going at a, at a so festival for that kind of money. But that was over money. Yeah, it was over money. Okay, so what about one over, that was more over, um, not you know, strictly money? Well, the, the, the worst one recently um, was Slumdog Millionaire, which we actually sort of had for a while, we as as they closed down our company, they closed New Line, then they closed Warner Independent first. But we were still hanging in there. In fact, many people expected you to have kind of emerge on top of yeah. some remaining Warner yeah. Brother independent entity. Yeah, it was. What it, happened, Bob? It was. Uh, yeah, it was possible. I mean, there. I think that if we would have, I think that ultimately um, they really did decide to get out of the indie business. You know, they they were like. F philosophically, 
they're going to do tent pole movies, giant movies. Okay, but they were still, the last to come to it. Yeah, in the first and place the, and, and the first to leave. First to leave. <laughs> but um, they, in the meantime, so they're getting out of the tent pole business. They did have this one movie left because they closed down Warner Independent and Slumdog Millionaire. So, which is something that we had, you know, as Picture House had the script and tried to get, and Warner, our sister company, got it, which we were like, okay, yeah, that's all right. It's still in the fam. So go out and screen it, and I just, we, we tried to get uh, Warners to let Picture House just stay in business four more months and handle it, and it was like, no. We, we decided to exit the indie business, and we're gonna exit. And then they, uh, and then it, Fox picked it up. So it was really a tough one to, to miss. Although, you know, I, I sort of accepted like, okay, you guys are getting out of the indie business, this, you're out of it. And uh, the timing thing, might not have been <laughs> exactly perfect. But I mean, the picture that, that you know, it's, it's, I think it's a great example because you never know. That's one that, again, it's sort of a, a you know, again, the beginning of that film is fairly dark and intense and ultimately the, Right halfway through the film, it turns in the audience. It's it's really never seen anything quite like the reaction to that film, really, because people afterwards, and I loved it, but it it was over the top reaction. People like actually changed their lives. They're going to end. You know, it was incredible to see that. 